Hey everybody, so I'm, as I explained in my last video, I'm having major webcam issues, so I'm taking this video on my phone, which is why I'm, the phone's way down here and things are a little different. I can't use the whiteboard because um, you can't read it because it's backwards. Um, anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot going on right now. This is a really bad time for me to lose my webcam and, and you know have it not work but uh matt duchene has been traded to no surprise uh, he was clearly getting traded by ottawa him stone um uh, dezingle they're all probably going to get traded but um uh ottawa uh, has been holding them out of games healthy scratching them we knew that they were on their way out so duchene goes to the columbus blue jackets and this is a huge addition for columbus who actually fell out of a playoff spot with Carolina's win and Pittsburgh's winning. And, you know, that, that Metro division is so, so tight. Uh, a lot of those teams are right on top of each other. Columbus actually has fallen out of a playoff spot. So, obviously, they're expected to be a playoff team. They need to get it together. Um, this is a huge addition for Columbus. They also got Julius Bergman, who is a defensive defenseman. I believe he's... He's uh, a prospect, uh, not not anybody of note that's going to help the Blue Jackets right away, at least. So, uh, the obviously, the big piece of this deal is Matt Duchesne. Uh, going back to Ottawa are a couple of players that I've never heard of before and a couple of first-round draft picks. Um, Vitaly Abram Abramov and Jonathan Davidson. Uh, I assume that they're both prospects. I've never heard of either of them. Um, and, and none of their names don't pop out as like high end prospects either. It's not like these are guys that, um, uh, you know, get talked about or, or thought of as, you know, the next big thing. So they get a couple of middle of the road prospects, a first round pick and a conditional first round pick. So, um, yeah, Ottawa gets a first round pick, which they don't own their own, which is probably going to be number one overall. How they get Columbus's, but that's probably going to be in the mid 20s or early 20s overall somewhere. So, overall, really, I don't think Ottawa got much in return for Duchesne. Now, the condition of the other first round pick is if, um, Matt Duchesne re signs with Columbus and they get their 2020 first round pick as well. So if they end up getting both first round picks, I guess that's not too bad. But if they don't get that 2020 first round pick, then I really don't think that they got uh, enough for Matt Duchesne. Uh, the two two middle of the road prospects and a and a 2019 first round pick. I mean that's okay, but it ain't it's not great for somebody who's thought of as one of the who was thought of as one of the best players on the trade market. Um, so. Once again, I feel like Ottawa keeps not getting nearly enough in return for for what they um, for for what they give up. Uh, obviously, they got absolutely shafted in the deal that that um, brought Matt Duchesne from Colorado to Ottawa. They got absolutely shafted in that deal, and and now it looks like they didn't get enough for Duchesne. You know, moving him out. So. We'll see what they get from Mark Stone. We'll see what they get for Ryan Dezingo and anyone else that they might move. But uh, it, there seems to be a reoccurring pattern here of Ottawa not getting enough in return for these players that they're trading away. But uh, anyway, this is a huge addition for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, really will add to them, really give them a lot of help offensively, which they've been struggling with lately. Gives them much, much better center depth. Um, th this changes a lot for the Blue Jackets and is a really important addition for them. Um, and, and I think this, this could be enough to make a significant difference with Columbus and have them start winning again and start climbing the standings a little bit. They, they certainly should be a playoff team after this deal. Um, but that's, that's my opinion. Matt Duchesne to Columbus in exchange for some prospects and a couple of picks, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel and maybe help me get a new webcam, uh, the, the link to our Patreon page and my merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.